What's up, everybody, guys? Today, I'm gonna show you how to communicate Touch Designer with other applications via OSC. This video focuses on building Touch Designers running on separate laptop. I've often heard of what people can send or receive OSC because of some problems. Actually, me too. I was like, my laptop, my smartphone was connecting on same Wi-Fi. But why can I receive OSC? Sometimes I'm connected to via wired LAN. Why isn't the OSC coming? So I'm gonna show you important tips involved in OSC and the network to work correctly. So let's get started. Between touches in this. First of all, I'm gonna show you communicate between touches in this via OSC. Of course, I can hear you. What you won't know is what is OSC, right? To explain OSC completely is quite complicated. So I'm gonna pick up important part and explain as you can understand easily. What you have to know is that it is available to send and receive texts, numbers like an integer or float in the same network. I assume that one touch center is running in PCA and another touch designer is doing in PCB. Both laptops are on the same network via Wi-Fi or wired LAN. Which network it belongs to is set by IP address. I'll talk more about it later. So just remember the name, IP address. And then if they are on the same network, they can send and receive the data. That's it. You don't have to remember official name of OSC and its history, but you'd have to see how it works. Let's jump into Touch Designer. Your Touch Designer on the right is running in Windows, on the left is doing in Mac. Next is super important part of this tutorial. It's about network security. Seems boring topic though. Now both PC in connected via same Wi-Fi. This one and this one. This is my house house's Wi-Fi. If both computers is on the same Wi-Fi, it is supposed to be able to send OSC. But home Wi-Fi is uncertain about network security. Your Wi-Fi might have some security problems as well. So I highly recommend to use a LAN cable. But I know most of you doesn't have it. This time, I'm gonna use mobile hotspot. This one. That can make your laptop be an access point. I'm gonna go to the Wi-Fi and turn on the mobile hotspot. So switch to the uh, Mac, switch into the Mac. I'm gonna connect the Wi-Fi. I'm gonna click on the, this uh, Wi-Fi mark and I'm gonna uh, search this Wi-Fi uh, by mobile hotspot and I'm gonna connect it. This time, uh, I don't need to enter the password. If you are first time, uh, you need to uh, enter the password. So if you want to check the password, you can go to the setting of the mobile hotspot so you can uh, check the uh, network password. So they are on the same Wi-Fi without any problems. And we need to allow your touch center to communicate in firewall settings. So you should check on the private and the public uh, you haven't yet. Uh, firewall. This page. I'm gonna check the touch designer. Touch designer. Touch designer. Yeah, I already checked the uh, private and the public, so you should do that. Yeah, Mac OS as well. Go to the network uh, setting and this firewall. Uh, turn off the firewall. Okay, finally, I'm gonna talk about OSC. 
When we use OSC in touch designer, we are supported to use OSC that. Yeah, it has OSC chop as well, uh, but I don't recommend to use it because it can't communicate with other applications. This time, I'm going to send a message from Windows to Mac. I'm going to uh, delete all, all the node and press uh, Ctrl A, select all the node and delete and mark as well. I'm going to put OSC out that in Windows. So in OSC out that we need to set two parameters. First one is network address. This is super important network address. We have to type the IP address that the receiver has. So let's take a look at Max Max IP address. I'm gonna go to the network icon and go I'm gonna go to the uh, network setting and select the Wi-Fi. If you are uh, connected by LAN or Ethernet uh, you should the other uh, communication way and go to the details click on the tcp slash ip this ip4 address uh, means ip address that i had coded let's type into the uh, osc that 192.168.2.104 okay second one is port uh, we need to specify the same port to send osc this time uh, 7000 is okay uh, switching to the receive side we are supposed to another that sending side is osc out so we're gonna use osc in this is uh, this is easier we have to set port only receiver doesn't care which sender comes from okay back into windows i'm gonna send a simple value actually i'm gonna add constant chop uh, next uh, I'm gonna click on the output and add chop execute, chop execute that. So I'm gonna write the short code in on value changed. So I'm gonna make a variable of OSC out that operator. So op OSC out equal op OSC out one so and the next is super important osc out that has a function like send osc and the first argument is address second is value that should be a list address and the value is the shape of a data of osc so i call the function when the chop value is changed so i'm gonna write the code op osc out dot send osc and the first argument is uh, address this time slash test and second one is value so that should be list and this time list var you can name the address anything you want but don't forget to put a slash at the beginning okay and the value type should be a list beside if you want to send more data you can append uh, it to the list like that or like channel or play or something like that so ready to go i'm gonna move the slide bar yes doesn't work here's a question why doesn't work what is the problem answer is setting of ip address you should set the same ip address except last port so this time i'm gonna check the ip address uh, of the mobile hotspot in window so if you won't do that let's launch the command prompt and type in ip config 
and enter so uh, you can uh, see the bunch of white characters it seems like a super difficult but what you should know about it is that this wireless LAN adapter local area connection uh, this means a uh, mobile hotspot uh, IP address and this uh, wi this LAN adapter Wi-Fi it means the Wi-Fi uh, my home uh, the Wi-Fi so Windows IP address is 192.168.1 uh 37.1 so i'm gonna change the max ip address so let's go to the network uh setting and select the wi-fi now the ip address uh, of mac is this so i need to you know the same ip address so it's gonna be uh, 192.168 and 137 point one is not correct because uh, let's put it is gonna be uh, different uh, from Windows one so I'm gonna choose the two and apply back into the touch designer I'm gonna change the uh, network address because this is the uh, receiver's IP address line. So, this is 137.2. Uh, uh, so, let's check, it. let's check it again. I'm gonna move the slide bar and let's go. Yes, it works. So, the most important tips uh, it's you know being the same IP address except the last one the last part and if you can do we confirm firewall settings and the mobile hot and IP address uh, three uh, checklists reconfirm uh, firewall settings and the mobile hotspot and IP address what I have to explain is that connecting on the same network isn't enough Let's look at the shape of IP address. First numbers and second numbers are already decided. It's like a 192.168. And you have to specify like that. A third one is important. By setting same number here, you are on the same network. Uh, last one is kind of individual ID. So it is supposed to be uh, each different number. Actually, I had struggled. I didn't know that I gotta change the IP address like that. So I took time to explain that. If you want to communicate between touch designers in one laptop, it is easier. Both touch designer is obviously on the same networks, so I only set the proper IP address. Uh, type the local host or one to 7.0.0.1 uh, uh, these are same meaning and uh, let's move the slide bar yeah that's it thank you for watching my channel this channel provides touches and tutorials mainly for beginners it will be useful for people who already know touches designer. so Please smash the like button and subscribe to my Mia Maroon channel. If you have any request or comment, please feel free to send them in the comment section. Next time is about getting sensor value of a smartphone by OSC. So, see you next time.